guys, good morning. Um, today I wanted to show you how to put together a pretty um, simple bouquet of flowers here. Just using um, a few different flowers from my garden here. So I'm gonna do a few roses, some roses there. Um, I have some more roses right over here as well. And then over here on the other side of the yard, I have some really nice peonies that are really starting to look good. So I'll cut a few of those and then add a few um, pink bachelor buttons to this bouquet as well. So we're going for kind of a um, English cottage garden uh, bouquet look. So let's get started. Okay, this is um, an English rose here. This is a David Austin. This is the Alnwick rose. Um, has a really great scent to it. So I think I'll cut a couple of those for the bouquet. Okay, and this is another David Austin rose here. This is Princess Alexandra of Kent. I have a couple roses there that I'll use, maybe just two from there. And I have a few pink bachelor buttons here that I'll um, use as well. Those will just kind of be um, filler flowers. And I have some really nice pink um, peony flowers here that I'll use as well. So I'll just use maybe two or three of those. Okay, we're back in the kitchen now. So I have my um, clippers here. And I'm just gonna take off um, all the little leaves and everything um, that are on each one of the stems, just because we don't um, want a bunch of bulk when we finally put these into a vase. So you just wanna basically be dealing with just the stems that have the flowers on them. So go ahead and get all of your um, flowers trimmed up along the stems. Okay, we got all of our stems um, trimmed off here, uh, or trimmed up. And I did want to mention too, um, if you're growing your flowers organically, not using any uh, you know sprays or pesticides or anything like that, you will have bugs. Um, earwigs love peonies, and so do ants. Um, earwigs haven't gotten them too bad this year, but I have been noticing some more ants. So go ahead and thoroughly check all of your flowers here before you go ahead and put them in water. Um, just kind of pick out the bugs when you see them. So um, now we'll move on to um, putting this stuff in water here. So um, this is gonna be kind of like my main flower bunch here. And um, as you can see, it's taller than my vase here. So I'm going to, I'm actually gonna cut off this one flower right here and then trim up this stem a little bit. So take the bottom off there. Go ahead and actually might need to do that just a hair more. Kind of like that. Now we can kind of go ahead and put our roses in as well. And um, it's up to you how you want to put these in. I just kind of go ahead and put them in in the bottom here and there. So I think that's where they look the best. And um, you'll notice too that um, David Austin roses also tend to look a little bit like peonies. So peonies only um, last, you know, a few weeks, um, unfortunately, but if you really like the look of peonies, um, a lot of David Austin roses will bloom um, all summer long and have kind of that same type of look. So it's one way to kind of maximize the look of peonies for a longer growing season. Okay, so that looks pretty good there. I have this other peony that I'll try to fill in maybe right in there. That should look pretty good. Okay, now I can just kind of put my bachelor buttons in here and there, wherever I can find a spot. And again, these are just kind of a filler flower adds kind of a little different texture to your bouquet. Um, if you had some white flowers, that would look really nice in here too. White adds a little bit more dimension. I'm just kind of going with this, you know, monochromatic pink look here. So I'll keep filling these in and then we'll see how this looks. Okay, so I got all my bachelor buttons in there. This looks pretty good. You'll um, also notice on the vase that I use, the glass vase, I used one that had a really small mouth. It was about that big or so. Um, that's really helpful when you're putting together a bouquet. That way everything can be packed in a little bit tighter. 
And so after I filled up um, that vase, I just went ahead and put this into um, this uh, tea tin that I found. This is from Michael's, but I thought it looked um, really nice with all these um, English flowers. So um, this will be great. This will last for a few days. Um, again, there's another ant. If you see any ants or earwig or anything like that, just pick them out when you can. Um, otherwise, this was a pretty simple and easy tutorial on putting together a really nice bouquet.